sunset, like sunset and everything, and uh, it's done really well. And, oh, wow, nice. live action. Leftover uh, swell that we had a couple of days ago that's got a lot of north in it, and then we got this kind of northeast trade wind swell. So, uh, and we got a rising swell that's coming in pretty quick. The buoys are coming up fast, and when the swell's coming in fast like that, the, it just doubles up and throws on the reef, and it's pretty gnarly. It's you know not too pretty out there. Uh, yeah, you know Bruce got that first one, and I was like, oh, well, you know he's in the driver's seat, and uh, and, and then you know time was ticking away, and there was no waves coming in. Everything was just washing through, and nothing really rideable. And uh, you know you just gotta complete too, and that's that's the game, and that's what I preach to the kids too when I'm coaching them. I mean, there's definitely good ones out there, like those tens earlier, and there's really good waves. But with this wind and the backwash and the rising swell, it's definitely tricky. And uh, I mean, putting out time there definitely helps me know where to sit on the, when it's like this or when it's bigger. So it's good. The very first time I came here, it was like the first day it was like 10 to 12 foot perfect pipe, and uh, my friend Damon Harvey took me out, and I got a really good wave, first wave, and. Like, since then I was hooked and I was like 16 years old and it's like 14, 13 years later. So. Well, it depends on the conditions. If it's small, the competition can be really tough. Everyone can be sitting close to each other and hassling. But if it's big and consistent, then it's the wave, you know. It's like everyone can get their wave. And so it just depends on the day. Oh, <laughs> 